This is for the vacant, made for the cage, bantamweight title. Please welcome first up, Danny Welsh. Ladies and gentlemen, Davy Grant. We are live right here at Rainton Meadows Arena in the northeast of England, the 13th of October 2012. This is made for the Cage 7 Vengeance, and this is the first of our main event. These two warriors will be going head to head in three five minute rounds in the Made for the Cage Bantamweight division. This bout sponsored by Machine Lad Clothing, the very best in urban clothing in the UK and also in Ibiza. This is for the vacant bantamweight title. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is streaming live across the net right now on madeforthecage.co.uk, Made for the Cage YouTube channel, on Twitter, it on every conceivable social network and site. We are live across the globe. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first up, in the blue corner, he has a mixed martial arts record of 8, 22 and 0. Representing Chop Squad, give it up for Danny Welsh. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner. He has a mixed martial arts record of 7 wins, 1 loss and 0 draws. Representing Northeast Top Team, give it up for Davey Grant. This main event, ladies and gentlemen, is refereed by Trevor Mitchell of MMAofficials.co.uk. Jay Furness here at Made for the Cage 7, alongside me Nathan Court. We have the co-main event, a bantamweight title, and we've got Danny Welsh in the blue shorts, who's taking on Davy Grant in the white shorts. 
Yeah, uh, well, she's actually um, Grant's fourth opponent for this fight. He's, uh, I've never known a fighter have so many pullouts in a fight camp. And, uh, but Grant, he's on a seven-fight win streak. He's uh, extremely well-rounded, and he's one of the top bantamweight fighters in the country. Yep, he's coming in off the back of a great win at Shock and Awe over the previous undefeated James Pennington. And uh, that was a real consummate performance. A lot of people had him as the underdog, but, you know... He's, uh, he's, he's proven his worth and uh, fighting for the title here at Made for the Cage. Yeah, going into that uh, last fight, he... Oh, oh, he's dropped with a hard right oh. hand there, and Danny Wells swarms him. This is not what he wanted. Wow. Yeah, Wells is a, a very decorated Thai boxer. He's yeah, done he a great a job there. Yep, but Grant is looking to recover his senses and get that takedown and land back on top. Yeah, the Wells, big slam. Wells not known for his, uh, his ground acumen, and uh, now Grant will just try and take a moment just to try and regain his senses, because he was really shocked by that big right hand. Yeah, it was a big, big shot. Sent Grant down to the canvas, but uh, Grant is recovered well, now he's in the dominant position. Yep, and Wells is very dangerous. He hasn't, his record's quite deceiving. He's a, a very talented Thai fighter, and uh, he, as I say, he was decorated there, but you know, this is not Thai, this is MMA, and David Grant has got the MMA skills. He's yeah. got his back now. Looks as though he's got the choke locked in. Yep, the choke looks really tight. He's only got one hook in, but he's squeezing for all that, uh, to finish that rear naked choke. Yeah, I know, that, he does have quite a lot of upper body strength for a bantam weight. I mean, he is a huge 135 pounder as well. Yeah, cuts a lot of weight and he's using all that extra strength to try and squeeze the life out of Danny Welsh here. Yeah, and he's, looks as if he's got that choking tight from our position. Yeah, he's gone flattened out. Really bad spot for Welsh. This uh, this rear naked choke tends yeah, to be it. Tapped. Yep. And there is the finish. Great recovery from David Grant there. Got, got hurt with a big right hand. Managed to get back to his feet, big slam. Took his back. And then thinking, he's just con I think he just congratulated the Welsh there on that big shot. Yeah, he just almost looked shocked at what happened there. Obviously, Welsh came in as a huge underdog, and uh, Grant was the favourite for the title. But you know, he's pleasantly surprised that he managed to recover and get the win. But you can never underestimate a guy like Dan Welsh who has got you know one shot power. Yeah, definitely. It's very like there's not a lot of like the way fighters who, who have that ability to just knock someone out or one punch, but Danny Wells does. So credit for Grant for being able to recover from that. Yep, great heart there from Grant, you know, and uh, he's done enough to, to take this belt here tonight. It's you know, as you say, credit to him for taking that shot and coming back and managing to choke Danny Welsh out in double quick time. Yeah, I mean, he's on an eight fight win streak now, so it'll be interesting to see who he. So he gets up next, obviously he's the champion now in three different promotions so, and he's now ranked in Europe so he'll be going after the top European guys. This bout sponsored by Machine Lad Clothing and the belt presented by David Dunbar of Machine Lad. It ended in 1 minute 54 seconds of the first round. Your winner, by way of rear naked choke, in the red corner, Davy Grant! Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Danny Welsh!